Greetings, this is one of the last videos for English 102, 103, and 105 for the fall of 2020. We're moving from Writing Lab 2 to Writing Lab 3. And I wanted to guide you through Writing Lab 3 and explain how you could get an A or engagement in Writing Lab 3. So remember to get to the Writing Labs. Always go through content. I think a couple folks have been going through other ways, and when you do that, you can't always see everything. You click on Content over there on the left. And then if we scroll down, we're getting there to the end, folks. So Writing Lab 3 has these elements. There is a new checklist that I'll be opening in a second. There's a discussion I'd like you to participate in uh, uh, by December 1st. There's a description of the writing project that we're working on. There's a place for you to propose uh, what you will write about in the final essay. I'd also like you to try to do this by uh, December 1st. We have the review guidelines that I've been asking you to use uh, in reviewing other people's work, and we'll be emphasizing these in this final unit. And there's a space here uh, for review of your draft, revision, and pre-final uh, of the source critique of the final essay. Uh, and so I'd like everybody to, to open a thread with their name on it, and then in that thread you can put your draft, someone can review it, you can post your revision, someone can review it, you can post the pre-final, someone can review it. Right? So we're looking for that to happen for every student in the course as much as possible. And then down at the bottom there's a drop box for the final version of your source critique. This will be due uh, one of the last things in the course, and a space for reflections on Writing Lab 3 is below that. So to give you a guide to this, if I open this uh, checklist, I get this document. So how to get an A for engagement in Writing Lab 3. There's essentially uh, eight activities to participate in. Some are quick activities, some are more dense activities. The first activity is to participate in the discussion of research issues before December 1st, responding to one or more of my questions, I'd like you to initiate, engage with someone else, and follow up. You could do this in as little as three posts. You know, respond to one of my questions, engage somebody else's response, and follow up on any response that you get. Okay. Uh, the other, and where that is in, in the writing lab, is right here. This is the discussion of research issues. The second thing is also before the 1st of December, propose your writing option. And what are you going to write about in this next one? Remember, this is an essay that asks you to compare and contrast two sources. So uh, what I'm looking for you to say, I'd like to compare these two sources, maybe say why, and then ask somebody a question or make a comment on somebody else's and follow up on any responses you may get uh, before my office hour on Thursday the 3rd. Where does that happen? back in the writing lab that happens uh, let's scroll down in the proposals right writing lab proposal this is where you want to propose I say two or three paragraphs if you can do it in less that's fine you know what are the two articles or the two essays or the two sources you wish to uh, compare and contrast an easy one start a thread for review of your draft uh, the place to do that is if you come in here, Writing Lab 3, Review of Drafts, etc., start a thread, put your name on it, and then as you write a draft, you can post it there, and you'll get review as you go along. The most challenging of these uh, tasks is to post a full draft of your source critique before our class on the 8th, and review at least one other student's draft using the review guidelines as soon as possible, but optimally no later than my office hours on the 10th, right? So if you can get to it before the 8th, that would be great. You definitely want to get to reviewing someone else's draft before the 10th. What is a full draft? I spent a paragraph here explaining it. It's not an outline. It's not a set of bullet points. You want to actually be writing. It's written in sentences and paragraphs, and it addresses these five points. Who are the authors of your two sources, and what are their credentials? What does each author argue? and what makes their argument believable or not believable. I say it more specifically here. Third, what concepts do they use? Right? What are the concepts that are important in their argument? Four, what are the main issues for comparing and contrasting? 
Like, what do you see as the main things that you would want to talk about? Why compare and contrast these two? And fifth, what makes these two sources significant? And what might you claim or conclude about all of this? So think of your draft as your response to those five questions in sentences and paragraphs. And then as you revise it, you can develop it from there. Again, where does that go? You'll drop that here. You're going to start a thread with your name on it, and you're going to post your draft there. Right? That's something you'll do. Someone will respond with a review, uh, and then you will post a revision. So if we move through my uh, document here, not only are you posting a draft, I'm looking for you to post a revision of it by the 15th to get review by the 17th, post a pre-final by the 19th so that you can get some review guidelines uh, 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 that weekend. And then the essay itself will be due as a PDF in the Dropbox on Monday the 21st, uh, no later than a minute before midnight. And again, where is that? The Dropbox is down here. Now, if you do come into Writing Lab 3 without clicking on content, if you come through discussions or what's new, you may not see the Dropbox. I think that's an issue some folks had this go round. And so you always want to enter Writing Lab 3 through the content button and where that is it's over here on the left so if I'm back on the home page always come into content and then you will see the course as it's been designed if you come in through some other way like if I click on discussions that doesn't look right if I come in let's see if I'm on the home page and I say uh, why don't I come in through what's new again if I click on the discussion board well, I'm not sure what you're going to see there. All right, so that's how to get an, an A on engagement. Also to write a reflection by the end of the day on the 22nd. That'll be your last activity. You do those eight things on time, high quality, guaranteed A for that part of it. I have a reminder here about engagement. If you're interested in just getting a B or a C, here's how to do that. If you want a D, I don't know why you would. If you want an F, I don't know why you would, but there's how to do that. All right. We'll discuss this in class on Tuesday.